Hello. In this screencast, I'll showcase the World Wide Web Consortium's Slidey software. With Slidey, you can easily create impressive web-based presentations, as you'll see in a moment. By the end of this video tutorial, you should be able to create Slidey presentations yourself, given that you already possess some HTML knowledge. Everything you'll see can be downloaded from find-center.eu Center like Santa Claus and EU like European Union. Here click on Presentations and then on Slidey. I hit the 11 button to put my browser in full screen mode and this is a presentation which I've given at the Linux days in Graz in 2014. So let's dive into what we can do with Slidey. Well, we can of course flip through slides using the page down and page up buttons. I flip to the next slide and the next slide and the next slide and so on. We can shrink and enlarge the font size which is important because sometimes you don't know how the big the projection area will be or how far your audience will sit away so you don't know how much you can pack into a slide to make it readable from different distances. So you can simply do Ctrl minus to shrink the font or Ctrl plus to enlarge the font. Slidey can do incremental display, that means display one bullet point after the other using the right arrow key. One bullet point after the other is shown. I'm going to the next slide now. Well, besides showing one bullet point after the other, you can react to audience questions by having additional information attached to your bullet points, which is only shown on demand. You may have noticed there's a very small plus here and if somebody asks you on what you can do on a website, you can do anything you could do on a website, well just click on it and you'll get additional information. This can be easily done in Slidey. So as you could read here, you can do anything that you could do on a website. For example, you can do simple navigation. There's a table of contents menu which I can get using the C button on my keyboard. I flip here to an image. This is a simple image which I use for my own research and since it's a bit complex to explain I sometimes have uh, incremental images which are built one on the other. We can do the same in Slidey. I go to the next slide and simply add additional information to an image that was already existing. We can do mathematical formulas like we could do with the LaTeX package which you may know Here's a simple demonstration. So here are mathematical formulas and you can use the familiar LaTeX syntax to simply write them as you would do in other presentation software tools. What else can we do? Well, we can connect external content. Here's a simple example. Python Anyway is a web service that allows you to write Python code directly in your web browser and the guys at Python Anywhere were so kind to, to provide a, a Python 3 embedded console anonymously so I can use it in my presentations. So I can do import os, os.get current working directory, I can do any Python command I want, I can use the help. So this is really cool for teaching Python and uh, similar tools exist for teaching other languages and other utilities. Closing this console again. We can watch movies. Let's move to a movie slide here. I'll advance a little bit. This is uh, Big Buck Bunny, which is uh, one of the first and best open content movies under Creative Commons license. We're not here to watch movies right now. You may be interested in how to dive into slightly how to create your own presentations. I'll move on to the resources page here. And in the resources page, I'll we'll probably stop the video first and go to the resources page again. The most important thing here is a simple template which I provided. Let's download it and save this file into my download order folder. I extract it using extract here. You have to do the same command with your desktop environment. I'm using Kubuntu Linux and it's essentially the same in all other common OSs as well. And uh, this presentation template uses the original 
layout provided by the World Wide Web Consortium. So I click to open it here in a web browser, and this is the template. And now let's, uh, let's change it to your needs, at least a little bit. I right click this file and say open with Kate. Kate is my favorite text editor, but you can use any other text editor as well. It really is a matter of taste. Kate is opening here. I'm enlarging the font size so you can read a little bit what's going on. And I've added a series of to-dos. And these to-dos tell you what you need to, to edit to get started. So this one here is your title. I'm exiting full screen mode so we can immediately see what's happening. Here is to do your title currently in the tab header. And I change it to my first slidey presentation. Go to the presentation, hit the F5 key to reload the page. And here it says my first slidey presentation. I switch back to the text editor using Alt and Tab key and add the presentation title here and it's edited to be the same as the title up there. Then I enter my name here and my email address. Let's say Gerald at senaclon.eu. Save this and reload the page. Here is your title, my first slidey presentation, and here appears your name and your email address. Which you can of course make clickable as well if, if you want using a link. Now here we have three bullet points which are shown one after the other and the, the third is clickable and has additional information. Let's look at the source for this. Every slide is delimited using a diff element with the class slide. The header is, use, is uh, written using an h1 header statement. This is exactly this text here. And then we have lists and each list item is one bullet point. So here we have the first bullet point, the second bullet point and so on. And if we remove the incremental here then we don't have incremental display anymore. That means if I use the back and forth button I cannot remove one bullet point after the other, but I can only go to this slide and to the next slide if there are more. I re-enable incremental and remove outline. The outline feature is responsible for this here. I reload the page and we don't have the outline feature, so we cannot hide this sublist, but it's always shown. We still have incremental. Why do we still have incremental? Because here it says class incremental. Now let's add our own slide. I've added a small snippet to my text editor, so I only have to type slide and say another slide. And the content usually goes into unordered lists or ordered lists, depending on what you need. I say I want a list with three elements, you will type three. Using send coding, I don't have to type so much and get immediately my three bullet points. And I just call them first, second, and third. Let's reload the presentation here. And now we see there's a third slide. We had slide two out of three. And immediately we see bullet point one, two, and three, first, second, and third. If you want them to be incremental, we need to add class equals incremental, reload the page, and now we can do incremental display, one bullet point after the other. If you want to add an outline, let's add an outline here to the first, and say another unordered list, now with two elements, we call it uh, extra information and this is important. Let's reload the page. Now it's seen immediately because we need to add the outline class. So it's only shown on demand. Outline. 
save my document using Control S to F5 here and now if we have an outline we can hover with the mouse over first click on it get our additional information and hide it again by clicking again now you may want to customize the look as well here we have a simple logo from the World Wide Web Consortium and the same is true on the title page let's change this I've downloaded another potential image here I will copy it into presentation template and graphics. Up, oh, sorry, is in uh, slidey presentation files, and copy it here. I call it's called cover image FSFE for Free Software Foundation. I copy the name of it and go to my presentation. In my presentation, there is on the first slide. This is the title slide. There is a image, and this image needs to be edited to be the new image. I hit F5 in the presentation after saving my text file, and here I've customized this to show my new image. In this screencast, you've seen a few things that can be done with Slidey. Of course, the possibilities are endless. Using the provided template should also be should make you able to get started and create your first presentation with Slidey immediately. The rest is up to you. Have fun!